As young PC builders, you will be tempted by sleek, shiny options, but you mustn't take the easy path. Oh, is that the Mac Mini? Awesome. Elijah, you didn't even try to resist it. It's a $600 computer. Nothing even compares to this. And while thousands took to the online streets to rip into Apple's outrageous storage pricing, it doesn't change the fact that for the base model M4 Mac Mini, he's right. If all you want to do is email and video conferencing, some light professional work, even some casual gaming, $600 seems like an outright steal for this new machine. I mean, heck, I'd probably recommend it to a friend who just needed a decent computer at a fair price. So has Apple built the best system for the 99%? To find out, we're gonna drag race it against both a $600 mini PC and tower desktop PC while also discussing some of the pros and cons that you might gloss over if you take these devices at face value. But be sure not to gloss over our sponsor. Odoo, start simplifying your work processes with an all-in-one platform for your business. Learn more about Odoo today by clicking the link in the video description. Let's meet our three computers. For Team Malice, standing at a height of two inches and featuring 10 CPU and 10 GPU cores, the Mac Mini! Will it be held back by its lack of storage or will its unified memory deliver a knockout blow? For Team PC, standing at two inches tall, the Minus Forum Venus! And towering over the rest at 15 inches, the Cobbled Together Desktop Tower! This machine sure takes up a lot of room, but its dedicated graphics card means that when it comes to gaming, it means business. There is, of course, a lot more to know about each system, so here it is. But those are just details for now. What matters is that at the time of ordering, each of these machines came in under 600 US dollars before taxes and shipping. Which brings us then, without further ado, to benchmark number one, Cinebench in both single and multi-core flavors. And go. Here we go. Oh God. This is not gonna be close, dude. <laughs> wow. Wait, it might be a little close. Oh, this is spinning up. Oh. It's starting to slow down, but it's still... It's not slowing down much. Wait. <gasps> wow, this passed Wait, it. Wait, what? That's very surprising. I, I am also surprised. What's in here? Huh, that's not even current gen Ryzen. If you remember as well, this is normally $150 over our $600 budget, but right. it was on sale. I like sales. So it's kind of, you know, being a little bit of a cheater here by <laughs> joining the lower weight class. <laughs> anyway, while these run, let's talk about Apple's new M4 silicon. Compared to last year's M3, Apple's added two more efficiency cores. They have more than doubled the number of operations that their neural engine can complete per second. And they have increased the memory bandwidth of their already fast unified memory by 20%. Perhaps most importantly though, compared to their most recent Mac Mini, which had an M2 processor, and even compared to their other M3 devices, Apple has doubled the memory capacity of the base configuration from just eight gigabytes to 16. Now, I have no doubt that the most tab hungry of you could easily make use of more, but we've at least reached the point where I'm not uncomfortable recommending a base configuration. So good job, Apple, and Good job on the processor itself. We'll talk about performance in a second, but first I want to talk about energy efficiency. Look at this thing. Here's all three machines running the same load, except the M4 is using a fraction of the power of the other two. For a desktop, obviously this level of efficiency matters less than it does in a phone or a thin and light laptop, but less power consumption means less heat output and quieter operation. You can see, even when it's running a test, does it even have a fan? Oh yeah, it does. Wow, is it ever quiet though. Enough fawning though. Let's take a look at the performance and wow. The desktop and the Mac mini are shockingly close in multi-core. But what's really surprising to me is how far out ahead that mini's forum pulls. Two extra performance cores goes a long way for the multi-core. But does that hold up for single core? 
Let's see. Three, two, one. And now we wait a while. I mean, technically we don't have the final result, but we have enough of it. <laughs> Where the M4 really excels is single-threaded performance, which is one of the things that contributes to Apple Silicon machines feeling so responsive and snappy. Even the first generation ones, which seems to have become a bit of a drag on Apple sales. You talk to an M1 Mac owner and they're like, upgrade? Why? Who needs to upgrade? Yeah. Wait, <laughs> there's one right now. I have two M1s. I have MacBook Air M1 and uh, Mac Studio. What's the reason for upgrade? <laughs> Let's move on to our next test. Here we're gonna target the GPU using Blender to render the classroom test scene. And go. Go. Okay. What are we expecting? Oh, oh, dedicated GPU. Turns out having one of those, that's a thing. But an outstanding integrated GPU. It's doing much better than this one. That's a thing too. Uh, yeah. He was invited. <laughs> oh wait, is that frozen? Uh, oh, nope, there it goes. A minute? Yeah. Okay, that's about 12 seconds slower than our tower PC, but a lot faster than this. Is this even done yet? Uh, no, it has quite a ways to go. Good Lord. Now, in fairness, 3050, not exactly the most impressive GPU to be almost on par with, but when we consider that this is on board, it's pretty darn impressive. However, custom form factor machines like this are giving up a lot in terms of upgradability in the long term, which makes them a pretty questionable value if GPU performance is a priority, not just today, but in the future. Because this 3050, we can get rid of it, throw something else in there, and we're gonna be even faster. All right, movie magic cut, final score? Just under four minutes. Wow. The Mac Mini is just a quarter the time, and you've got to give it credit. It's just so cute, which, like it or not, is a significant factor for some people when they're choosing a computer. Now, before we get to gaming, let's take a look at a large language model, specifically Llama. How about we have them each write 10 haikus about our Tech Bro vest, now available on lttstore.com. I was the medium labeled Elijah. No offense, but I don't think so. Bruh. What, you're taller than me. And wider. <laughs> I don't think I'm an XL though. <laughs> <laughs> you an XL? Yeah. Wow, you really do look like budget Sam Bankman Freed now. <laughs> Screw off. Yep. Ready? Go. This is the same test we used back in our 50 versus $50,000 computer video. And while I don't expect as big of a difference on these three machines today, it is an opportunity for us to talk about one of Apple's biggest advantages. If there happens to be an AI workload that utilizes GPU memory, the typical wisdom has been, sure, no problem. Just slap some high capacity GPUs like a Quadro into your system. But with Apple's unified memory, the SOC is able to dynamically adjust how much RAM each section has access to, whether it's the CPU, the GPU, or in this case, Apple's neural engine. Faded glory worn. Tech. My love for tech still shines through all. Vest is my heart. Tech home. bro flair that won't be beat. Are you rolling on this? <laughs> this is freaking ridiculous. Look, the quality is not what we're using to evaluate them here because they're all using the same model. So theoretically they should be about the same. What we're interested in is the speed. And if you guys were looking over my shoulder, you'll have seen that the M4 absolutely destroyed the others. So unless you're a data center and you need the absolute best in AI performance and you're willing to spend millions of dollars to get it, one of these with a little RAM upgrade might be the better choice for you. Although <clears throat> RAM upgrades on this are a pretty big room elephant. Yes, my friends, we saw the Reddit post that you could buy two base model Mac minis for the price of one that has twice as much RAM and storage in it. Apple is still pricing their storage at the literal weight of gold, which is an awful value. Another sore spot for some is the power button, which is not only now on the bottom of the machine, but at the back of the bottom. With those two things aside though, there's no denying that the machine we're reviewing, which is the base model, absolutely kicks butt for the price. But does it hold up in gaming? While Apple Silicon has the raw grunt to put up decent gaming performance numbers, compatibility continues to be a struggle. 
Now, of course, most Mac users aren't going to expect to play the latest AAA game, so we're just using Shadow of the Tomb Raider as a tool to measure the performance of the GPU in a different way, and also to enjoy the onboard speaker <laughs> that actually sounds a lot better than not having a speaker at all. It's <laughs> not a fair. Okay, that's fair, I guess. What it is? What it is? Yeah. Oh wow. What's also not fair is having a dedicated GPU, apparently. <laughs> Dude, this poor thing. Yeah. Even this one though. It's it started before. Let it let Tim cook. Hey! Huh? Hey! Of course the Mac couldn't hold a candle to our mid-tower PC, but in fairness to it, it held up quite well against a last generation AMD onboard GPU. And I know some of you are gonna say, well, AMD has newer ones, and it's like, that's nice, but we're looking at price comparables here, not generation comparables. So, what's our conclusion then? Mid-tower PC wins? I don't think it's that simple. No, it really isn't, is it? I mean, on the one hand, uh, good job with the high FPS there, buddy. But on the other hand, there's a lot more to life than gaming and our M4 Mini excels in areas that our custom PC falls flat in. Now, if you're the average LTT viewer, the size, relatively high noise and power consumption, and the inconvenience of digging through PC part picker for the best deals and then assembling everything, that's all part of the fun rather than a burden and totally worth it for the upgradeability and customizability of a machine like this. But if your mom phones you up and she wants help troubleshooting this thing, wouldn't you rather just send her to Tim Apple's house for help? And I didn't even mention it has a headphone jack and Thunderbolt. This thing is sick. Now the upgraded configs suck and Apple really needs to give their collective heads a shake. But this base model for $600 is every bit as good as it seems on paper. If someone you know wants a computer on a budget, ask them what it's for. And if you don't hear gaming, I think that the mini PCs take the victory and if that user happens to already own an iDevice, the Mac Mini gets a pretty big boost. The workflow of like airdropping and using iCloud between devices really is kind of magic sometimes. Just like this magic spell to take you to our sponsor, Odoo. Are you tired of wasting time juggling multiple apps? With Odoo, you get everything your business needs in one platform. From accounting and CRM to sales and beyond, Odoo offers tons of apps that work seamlessly together. No more copying files between different pieces of software. It's like having all of your tools in one magic toolbox. Need to speed up your sales process? Odoo's sales app lets you easily add e-signatures to quotations, contracts, and PDFs. They even have AI-powered lead scoring to help your team focus on high-value opportunities. Once you close the deal, you can use their accounting app to create and send invoices. And when it's time to go home, you can make sure your hours are logged properly thanks to their timesheet app. The best part is you can pick and choose only the apps that your business needs. And if you only need one standalone app, you can access it for free. So don't wait, check out Odoo at the link in the description for a free 15-day trial or to set up a demo with their expert team. Thanks for watching. If you guys liked this video, why don't you check out the $10,000 Mac Pro Killer that we made almost a year ago. Apple definitely doesn't perform as well when you start going up into the higher price range.